welcome back to the shop guys and let's do another CNC video because you haven't seen enough of those yet. So if you haven't seen my little build series on my CNC plasma table, this is how it's sitting right now, which is basically just a very expensive workbench. Got my prime weld cut 60. Now this thing did work, fellas. It did. I should move that scrap aluminum, but it did work. Uh, I was struggling with Mach 3. Uh, it's a little too hobbyist for me, I think. Or at least I couldn't figure it out. But it was also like the free version that comes with your China stepper motors and breakout board. So I don't know if that had something to do with it, but I struggled with it a lot. So I was looking around for a plan B. And a plan B, I should have gotten this out first, turned out to be my plasm. It's from a guy in, uh, in uh, Poland. Uh, looks like really nice, easy to use software. This is the new breakout board that came with it. Uh, Proma Electrica, Electronica. And it's kind of a plus uh, with this stuff because it's got a built-in, a little built-in mini CAD system. Don't know how much I'm going to use that, but basically you can make changes on the fly. You can uh, scale your parts on the fly. There is a, there's nesting. Now it's not like true nesting, but you are able to nest with this, this MyPlasm software. Uh, and it comes with ohmic sensing and torch height. All of this cost me around, let's say, by the time it was here, 800 bucks Canadian. That Mach 3, if I would have actually paid for it, that's a two or $300 system. And for me to do ohmic sensing, it's probably another 100 bucks. And to do torch height control, that's another 150 bucks. So really, I should have just done something like this right away. And like I said, the software looks very easy to use. You can drag and drop DXF files into your cut. Uh, and then you can duplicate them and put other, yeah, so you can kind of nest parts or they got the mini cab system, which you cam system that allows you to make changes to your parts on the go. Or if I just need a quick square flange or something, I can quickly draw it up and cut it right here in the shop. So that being said, the changes I want to do is basically I'm going to rewire this whole damn thing, which I'm not excited for. So some of the things I'm going to be trying to do here. Build a new electronic enclosure. Before you would have seen me use this toolbox. It worked really well, uh, but I don't know. I just, I'm just not liking it. I'm gonna go to this plastic ammo box. And before y'all freak out that I'm using a plastic box, yes, I know, should use a steel enclosure, but they are expensive, very expensive. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a chunk of this aluminum. Sorry, Matt, I'm gonna use some of this. That's his, but I'm gonna cut a piece for a base plate inside my box here. All the electronics are gonna get mounted to that and that is gonna also be grounded. So it should be just fine instead of using a steel box, so I hope. And that's also waterproof, so that's a plus because this water table does have water in it. And I'll do some cleanups of the wiring. Uh, I couldn't get my limit switches to work very well with Mach 3. My Plasm, very simple setup, kind of plug and play. So I'm actually gonna have limit switches homing switches, all that jazz, really easy to set up from what I've gathered so far. So I hope it's a plus, a little easier to use, kind of a designate, dedicated program for this. Mach 3 seems to be too much trying to do everything and the other thing. So that's my plan. I also want to ground this machine. I didn't do a very good job of grounding. And if you would have seen some of my past videos, you will see that, but I'm going to put a ground rod outside of this wall outside the shop and I'm gonna run a small wire in to ground the machine. That's the plan. So I'm gonna get going and cutting this piece of aluminum and start doing some layout uh, for how I'm gonna put all my electronics from this box into this box. I might mount my screen up beneath my TV and I have a desktop over there, which I gotta get the program on yet. Haven't quite do that, haven't quite done that yet, but I'm excited. I'm excited, cost a little bit of money, but it's all money I probably should have spent anyway. So I'm not too uh, butthurt about it. But yeah, clean up some wiring, get that electronics box done. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anything else?
No, I think that's it. So let's get to it. Okay, so it's been a day and uh, I found a clean work shirt, so that's nice. So this is the layout I'm going for. Kind of got my plate cut out here and I kind of got my stuff mounted. Now these power supplies are actually not the right ones. I need to get a different one. Apparently this is 24 volt. Uh, my last system worked a little differently. So anyways, I got to switch these out and I think I only need one uh, from what I gathered. Might buy two to be safe, but I technically only need one. But I mounted these anyway, just so I can get a feel for what I'm doing. And the power supply that I'm going to be buying is going to be a little bit smaller than these, so I should have room and some to spare when I mount that in there. So it's it's working. And I got a couple of these uh, little connector bars that I'll throw in there. And uh, got a little, uh, little grounding bar here that I'm going to bolt down somewhere. I don't know where yet. So all my grounds will be consolidated, my powers will be consolidated, and that'll shoot out to everything that needs power. Already got a hole here for my USB. And to do that, fellas, all you need is a torch or a lighter and a razor blade. Heat it up, stick it through, cuts it really nice. Anyways, I'm going to start wiring. I'll show you in a bit. So I kind of got ahead of myself, and I didn't film much, but I have my box done. And it's kind of a bad view, but you can kind of see what's going on in there. I got my little power supply over there for the 24 volt. This one I was able to still use to power my drivers. So I'll leave that the way it is. Uh, some guys run these systems on one power supply. For some reason, it just seemed easier for me to wire it in double. I don't, don't ask me why. I don't know. But anywho, I uh, got that all wired up. I've even started getting my plugs soldered on here. So I got most of that done. I'm working on some limit switch wiring. It's still a workbench. It'll work. But uh, it's, it's going out pretty good. I got uh, this switch to wire in as well as my other switch on the other side. My X switch is wired up and my Z home and torch floating head unit is wired in. I don't have my floating head on here right now, but I'll get bolted on soon. But so far going really, really well. And I am going to do a fire test. So let's watch for fires. I'm going to turn this thing on with this button right here. And check. Oh, we got lights. Ooh. Fancy stuff. That's pretty cool. So the red lights show when a limit switch is, is switched. I'll just push one here. Blue lights are when things are, you know, hooked up properly. So I'm gonna check out what that blue blinking is. Oh, that middle one. Yeah, that, that middle blue light means it's uh, it's on and hooked up correctly. That's what the manual said. And my little torch height unit is blinking. That's supposed to blink as well. Then the those ports right there will go to the plug in the back of the plasma. And I don't see smoke. Don't see smoke, so that's good. I want to add a little fan here just to get some of the hot air out of there. Should have put a vent in because when I close the gate, you know, it's vacuum. So I need to get air in somehow, but maybe I'll drill a hole or something. But that'll come. Right now, I want to get these limit switches figured out. Once those are wired in, then I need my computer back from a buddy of mine who is installing some uh, updated software on the computer because my computer was too old to run the program. My luck. So I'm gonna get this wired up and hopefully when I come back to you guys, I'll have my computer and we'll see what the software looks like. So I was waiting on my computer. I had a desktop I wanted to use in here, but I had some problems with it. So I am just messing with my laptop as of right now just to get this thing going. And I have movement, boys. Have movement, limit switches work, homing works. I think I did it. Uh, I don't have the torch hooked up yet, but uh, to be honest, I'm always nervous hooking up the torch because those plasma cutters, they mess with all sorts of electronics and I think that was half my battle last time. Plus, I still need to put my ground rod in. But, neither here nor there. Uh, so they have this test file on, I'm gonna try and draw it. Should work, right? Let's, let's see what happens. We're gonna go in here and hit start and things should move. Let's watch.
that's pretty cool. That's always a good feeling, boys. Can't tell you how good that feels when you actually operate something. That seems, oh, it's very noisy. It's a pretty good feeling when you operate something with your own homemade CNC. That's pretty wicked. Uh, and it's, I seem to be really good at getting it to this step. Uh, so I gotta take it to the next level and actually cut some material. But I think overall this thing turned out pretty sweet. I gotta check my dimensions and everything, but I think we should be good. But uh, man, that's awesome. But I think that's where I'm gonna call this one, boys, because uh, everything else is gonna be just me pounding in a ground rod and you know screwing around with the plasma cutter, getting it plugged in, and seeing if we can cut some stuff. But I think we'll do that one on the next video. I got some projects uh, for a friend that he wants done. And uh, plus, I plan on making some signs and stuff, uh, you know, just for fun. Maybe make some money because, uh, yeah, I need money for me to do anything else. That's why the video has been so scarce. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button, too. That does something for the YouTubes. And, uh, yeah, no, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya!